Hey, hey, KSP fans, it's Thor. I'm back. It is time to continue my insanity. My brain, my brain, my brain. So here we are, space plane hangar, revisiting the A3 million. Wow, you guys like the planes. Holy bejeepers, man. Holy moly, a whole bunch of new people checking out the Thor KSPIRD. So, for those of you guys that are new that were like, hey, there's about a million things you could have done to make that fly. Why are you so stupid? Well, I call myself insane. And here's the gist. Because you're new, you don't know. I read the comments. And guess what? All you guys who said stitch the wings together, you're absolutely right. Absolutely right. There was also some comments about getting rid of that light at the end of the runway that was tripping us up. That also works. But I've got... you see this out here? That's actually rendering. Yeah, I've just messed the runway up down there. Let's see how it works. First, though, we need a crew. Let's fill it on up. I am! <laughs> and that's still not everybody, I don't think. Yep, still a whole bunch left. Well, that ain't right, so give me a minute, and when I put her out on the runway, we'll have the entire crew. Okay, here we are. Uh, I am done. Everybody is on board. My count is uh, 152 in these, and then we have two cockpits. Uh, let me go ahead and show that to you. I wanted to reduce the weight up front, so I got rid of this bulbous fuel tank that was up here and added this. So we, we lost about uh, almost a full Kerbal, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, so this is uh, 158, I believe I said total. That's a lot. That's, I think that's the most I've ever flown. Looking through the uh, names here, anybody interesting? Anyone? Pudan? Joning? Lemhat? Duding? Yes. Mm, anybody else? Anybody else interesting? Nope, nope. B there's Billy Bobfin. Billy. John Cass, I've seen him before. Uh, anybody else? Billy Bob Dorf. Names of note, names of note. Billy Bob Cal, they like the Billies. Oh yes. In fact, I saw a James somewhere along there. It's like, no, you can call me Jimmy. All right, so here we go. We've got everything ready to go. Let's take it out on the runway and see if it will fly. Launch, I say. So yeah, that's the deal, guys. Uh, you know, I build it. I know it's been like a month, but usually the turnaround's a little quicker. I build it, I can't get it to work, I look to the comments, and you guys have not let me down. Ever, 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 and you haven't this time. So many good, helpful comments. Sure enough, the one that really made the difference, as I said before, stitching the wings together. I'm going to look on the underneath. As you can see, each one is stitched to the next on the outside, acting like one giant wing. Oh, and the other one. How could I forget? How could I forget? There was, why is it going to the left? Because I had this strut sticking out here in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, all by its lonesome. So, without further ado, three, a two, a one, fire. Go, baby, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is 14. 14 engines spinning up to full power. Yes, there is a giant blah, blah, exploded piece of runway down here. That is going to serve as the eject button. For the A3 million. I did have a couple comments. Well, I had one comment. It was like, why don't you make it look like the A380? It's a disgraced Airbus. Well, you know, sorry. <laughs> That's a different channel. And, uh, you know, for technical prowess, we all know. We all know who we want to go to. If you want to see Perfect Kerbal, you want to see... That's going to be Scott Manley, guys. It's going to be Scott Manley. I like to build the crazy stuff and try and get it to fly. I read a couple of folks. They actually took this design and got it to fly themselves. Good, man. That's awesome. I'm loving it. Loving it. Here we go. So uh, there, another one was, do you have any ailerons? These are elevons, and yes, I got a ton of them. Pulling up. Oh, that didn't happen last time. That's not going to be... Oh, boy. Okay. Come on. Come on. Oh, did I lose one of my... Oh, I did. I lost one of my... Uh, this up here. I'm going to need some more control surfaces. Because it is not pulling up, folks. It's not pulling up. Well, I thought it was going to be real quick. And then we do our... No, nope. I'm going to let it go. Going to put some uh, some more canards up front. I thought with that weight change, we'd be good to go. But uh, as you can see, 158 going to the deaths. Ooh. It's not good. 
Come on. Crash already. <laughs> oh, Lord. There it goes. Frame rate coming up. And as I always say, we'll get it right next. Good, good, good. Here we are. That is the additional canard. Additional canard. Computer control throttles up beyond 100%. Fire those engines. Go, baby. Go. We know it can fly. You can fly. You can do it. Yes, you can. Thanks to my viewers. God, you guys are awesome. I really miss playing the game. I do. I do. Uh, not that anybody cares. <laughs> there were a few comments like that. It's like, man, we don't want to hear about your girlfriend. Well, okay, fair enough. But I feel like, you know, when there's been big gaps in uh, my recording, people wonder. Those have been around for a while. They wonder, where'd you go, Thor? What's been going on? And, and I feel loyal enough. I do to you guys that I should explain myself. So in this case, we lost the server uh, at the restaurant and there's been lots of hours to make up. Busy, busy, busy. Good for the wallet. Not so good for time management. My ability to play games, which I like to do. I miss playing games, but I've got some time now. The party canceled today, which normally would be a, you know, downer, but I knew I could come home and play Kerbal, so yes, yeah, sight. All right, uh, go! Don't, yes, 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 yes. That's it. That's what we wanted. Yep, it's just that additional canard up there did the trick. It ain't uh, it ain't great, ladies and gentlemen. It ain't great. It isn't pulling up. Uh, I wouldn't call it maneuverable. So we're going to go like that. We're going to hit the F key, get that to reset, and kick it right there. Just stay for a while. We're going to gain some altitude before we do what we do, which those of you who watched before, all I have to do <laughs> uh, is circle back around and land it. That's all I gotta do. Uh, probably gonna cut this up in editing, so uh, if I sound like I was getting ready to tell a story or something. And it goes away, that's because I've decided it was not worth hearing. So we're gonna let this thing gain some altitude. I'll be back. Why, well, hello there. We're back. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the gear up just because it's cool. Watch them all go up. Yeah. So awesome. Alright, so we're ready to do our turn. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be. gonna go with interesting. So, here we go. Hi, ha, ha, ha. Here we go. Pitching it over. A little roll. And pull up while we're doing the roll. Pulling up. Here we go. Yeah, okay. That's probably good. There we go. And now start turning. Mm hmm. Alright, we're still going up. Looks good. So let's see, it's been a month. What is going on in the space community these days? I like to keep up. I like to keep up. Uh, yeah, Elon Musk quote for Kerbal Space Program. That was awesome. I don't know if you've seen that one come up, but yeah. Kerbal Space Program is awesome. I believe it was. Elon Musk. Love that guy. Love that guy. Hey, you know what we ought to do? Let's land the first stage on a barge, because you know it costs a few million dollars. Why not? Let's try. Love it. Love it. Uh, Mark Kelly, brother of Scott, no, Scott Kelly is headed up. Mark Kelly is his brother, uh, twins, both astronauts. The one is headed to the space station, I believe, next Friday. Don't quote me on that, but I believe he is due to launch on a Soyuz next Friday for a year on the space station. Wow. I mean, it's really the first time I've ever seen an astronaut, like... You know, because he's been on, quote-unquote, long-duration missions before, he's been on two stints, I think, so a six-month... He was like, yeah, not quite as excited about this one as I have been about the others. It's a long time. And indeed it is. That is a very long time. But we're proud of you. You're going to be doing some great research. We're going to find out all about what it takes to stay in space that long. Because if you want to go to Mars, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a hot minute. So, uh, yeah, that's going on next week. Anything else big? Hmm... Uh, oh, look at this. We need to slow down. I am not going to make this turn, am I? Really not going to make this turn. Woo! How about we just land anywhere? Does it have to be the runway? Mm. <laughs> I at least have to try, don't I? Alright, it's turning, it's turning. We'll make it. We'll make it. I say tentatively, very, very tentatively. We'll make it. Coming around. So, what's the plan after? Let's say everything goes perfectly. <laughs> Ah, uh, let's say everything, you know, you understand if I crash this thing, we don't have to go back around and land it. So even if it doesn't go perfectly, we're moving on. Uh, yeah, what's next? 
Next is I'm going to build something else crazy in the space plane hangar because I got a bunch of ideas for funky planes. This is just uh, just the start of funky planeage. Uh, and then uh, I'm hoping Monday I'm going to do a long recording session and get um, the rest of the setup done on Minmus for the next Kerbal battle. Kerbal throwdown. Kerbal war. War for Minmus. <laughs> yeah, so that's kind of the tentative plan. Uh, more long range. Mmm. I would love to be able to save enough money this summer so that when we get into the slower period next winter I can cut my schedule back to almost nothing record pretty much full time and uh, get fully engaged put the horse in front of the cart as they say because right now I got the cart before the horse I gotta tell you with the with the patreon you know, I love you guys, and I am so uh, thankful for your support and your patience. But, uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's the trick. That is the trick, having enough to go full-time. And then you have to have the time, so... Yeah, that's 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 a tentative long-range plan, which I like. I like to have something to look forward to. Let's put that gear down. Possibilities. I can make this work. Yes, I can. I'm sick of it. I don't, you know, I, I do like the job, but uh, I'd much rather talk to you guys. I really would. I really would. And I miss that. I mean, there's like hundreds and hundreds of comments that I just, I just can't get to. I certainly can't answer them. Uh, I can read a lot of them, which I do, and I thank you. Please keep them coming. But I used to answer all of them. You guys know that. Look back on my videos. Look back. I used to even, you know, I used to answer all of them. You know, without the the exception being redundant right if they're the same question then yeah you know refer to the first guy that asked it but yeah and not just you know generic answers you know I mean I, I, I would think about it you know your comment you took the time to put it on there and took the time to th oh I really need to pull up is it going to pull up for me because this is oh come on we're going down we going down 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 oh pull up pull up I may have waited way too long for this Mm, 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 mm. Sorry for the noises, but yeah. Okay, but this is this this could this could this could this could be really dangerous. That's what this is. This is really dangerous. I'm gonna have to make a left turn right at the end, like some sort of screwed up crosswind landing. Okay. Um. Yeah. It's it's getting straightened out though. We need to pull up a little. Pull up a little, coming down really fast. Oh boy. Um, okay, how about if I just touch the run? <laughs> how about if I just touch it? Ooh, come on, straighten out just a little. Mm -mm, I see buildings. Buildings. Buildings really need to pull up. I'm coming down way too fast. Ah. <sighs> Come on, pull up, pull up. Okay, okay, all right, all right. We're we're not gonna we're mwah, give it a kiss. Mwah, everybody kiss the runway. <laughs> uh, ooh, here we go. Sorry, 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 sorry. I should have been pulling up that whole time. Don't crash. Don't crash. <gasps> wow, wow. It's big. It's big. It's big. Don't no 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 no. Computer controls. Whoa. Yeah, I was a little skewed, and that's going to be spectacularly explosive. Wow. Oh, <laughs> Milbert and Bob, guys. Shoo. Can you see out of that thing? Yes, you can. Wow, right? Wow. Wow. We're still alive. Totally. Yes, we are. <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, yeah, I think that we got time to build something. Let's do it. Space Playing Hangar 3, 2, 1. Next.
Okay, folks, here we are, the Deca Decker. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have no idea how many people will fit in there. Let's find out. Phil. I know I've got like 169 people that can go in. There we go. It did take everybody, and there's still lots of seats left, so this is probably a two, 200 plus. We'll go with that, 200 plus. Let's take it out on the runway and see if it will even sit upright. Hmm. <laughs> what do you think my odds are? 50%? 20%? 2 in 10. 2 in 10 chance this thing is not going to fall apart right away as soon as it sits down. If it actually loads. Here we go. We're at frame rate 0. Hmm. Come on, baby. Go! <laughs> well, we see where we have some issues there. Those seemed... Wow. That's, uh... That's fascinating. So a few struts, uh, I think, in between these would probably be uh, helpful. Yeah, just attached in the front and then just uh, clipping through everything else. That's fun. Let's uh, do as we do. Computer controls throttles up to 100% and say, what the F? Just go. Just go. I mean, they are wings after all, right? See? <laughs> Everything's lifting up just fine. It's all going to be fine. It's going to take off with no problem. And you can see I have elevons all over the place. We have control services. I do not have canards. That could be an issue. We'll find out. All right, 60, 70. Let's get it up to around 100. I'm going to try and pull up before we get to the lump and bump. Uh, yeah. Going to try and pull up before. Oh, 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 oh. I got a hanging strut somewhere. Ooh. Wow. Wow, that's a lot of pieces. Okay, alrighty then. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be good right there. I am going to let you guys in the comments figure out what I did wrong on that build. And I will thank you very much with kudos and props and shout outs and whatnot. As I have this time, you know who you are. Not to mention names. Although I could, I have, and I might again. With that, I will see you guys, as always, in the V-A-B.